Welcome back today guys to the channel top 10 gifts of the week. We're here back in episode 3 2024. We are more than halfway complete our giveaway with Ben Q and Mobius Gaming and for the beautiful 4k 32 inch monitor built-in speakers, right? It's a super nice setup if you guys haven't already entered in three ways to do so one of which is entering into the gleam links found down below the second of which is commenting down below top 10 drifts in the comment section down below and third is being showcased in top 10 so that means entering in through the discord channel links are found That's down sick. below huge thank you to everybody that has been submitting your clips also to commenting being active and also entering into the giveaway i don't know why you wouldn't it's a free monitor if you do win it valued at over 749 dollars I do believe that's also USD, right? It's a nice monitor. Definitely do not sleep on this. Click those links down below. And once again, huge thank you to Ben Q and Mobius Gaming for hooking you guys up with a monitor, right? It's really cool the fact that I can do this for the people that are interacting with this series and keeping it alive once again. I really do enjoy this series. I love looking at what you guys come up with creative-wise uh, and kind of also gets me back on the sim rings, right? I love watching you guys drive and it kind of, you know, drives that passion. I hope I can kind of do that with these videos, right? You see something, maybe you want to go play it as well. So I hopefully I can motivate you guys in that same aspect. We got a good episode, I feel like. I handpick these through the Discord channel. I edit this all myself through the top 10 counter. So hopefully you guys do agree with the countdown for today. And it's always nice to see the different clips roll in like we have here with Bam Bamboo and Need for Speed Pro Street. So even if you aren't picked in that top 10, you still get entered in to that giveaway, right? So Bamboo, he's just in the honorable mentions today. However, he will be still entered into that draw at the end of the month. Basically, when it all comes down, we get all the names into the random generator and we pull one, we will have a top 10 drifts winner for the end of the month. Will it be you? Make sure you guys enter in. Will it be you? Down below. Super cool to see everybody coming back in with clips as well too. Like Rozoa, back to back weeks he's been in here. Super cool to see him. And right for this example, he now has a second entry into the giveaway, right? So if that makes sense to you, um, it's just gonna kind of combine all your entries into the end of the month's final pool. But really cool to see this Forza Motorsport in the wet, holding it down. This man is good. I, I do believe he competes as well too. If he doesn't compete, he should because he can definitely hold a mean lead line I feel like and it's still going right? right and this was actually a pretty tough week to judge I feel like I right? and I put all the clips down this week and uh had a little bit of difficulty choosing that number one but I think I have it I think I have it this week I'd love to know your thoughts down below if you do agree with the top 10 countdown we have one more clip to go in these honorable mentions but once again before we get into the top 10 make sure you guys go ahead click those links enter into the giveaway cannot stress it enough it's a free monitor if you do win it that's all I'm saying, right? Huge thanks for coming around. Huge thanks to the Bank Q and Mobius Gaming. And let's get in to the top 10 countdown. Starting us off with, of course, a set of Corsa. Matt Smith, 13 out here. Throwing it down with his S14. Get a little creative underneath of the trailer, man. I like that. Little Jimmy K reaction, right? Kind of. So, same, same, but different, right? What map was he on though right now? It looks like a fun map. GSR Rasmus JMK with a beautiful lead line here. I do forget the track name on here. I've been here a couple times on a Seto. I cannot remember it. Please help me in the comment section down below, man. I feel stupid. I'm so sorry, but this clip was nice though. He sent me both angles. I put them together for him so we can kind of you know, see the outside and inside of the car. And he is dangerously close to that wall, but he does hold it out though with style, right? Huge thank you, holding down number nine. Number eight this week, Nova Crank with a beautiful entry. At first, I thought he was just going to go back and just a beautiful burnout, but yeah, that's a Ken Block style maneuver right there. That was beautiful, man. Number seven, Live for Speed, Anthwang Jr. Some of these names, man, they're tough sometimes, man. Give me a break. Beautiful run, S15 behind him. Give it a clutch kick or two. Holy, gee. he does catch up though, right? Respect. Knocked a few cones off. Someone's going to have to pick those up, sir. Number six this week, UCXT crew coming in here, Ant and Scanny ripping some tandems here on Lime Rock. Obviously, these guys, they've been together for a while, and it definitely does show tandem door to door. One thing I'd like to see for next week's clip, if you do send them in, get the driving line off the road, man. You, right, come on now, I feel like. Right, I'd love to know the comments, though. Do you drive with the driving line on? Yes or no? 
let me know. Number five this week, showing exactly why you want to submit multiple clips. If I like them, I'm going to pick them. Nova Crank with a second entry for this week with a beautiful double 360 entry in here. I'm not too sure where they are exactly, but I know it's a nice run. You got a nice little Subaru S13 tandem, something you don't usually see nowadays, but uh, it's nice to see it though, right? right? Super close proximity to uh, the tire walls, to each other as well too. Just an overall great 360, right? I had to throw it in there. Double entry, kill shot as well too. This man is gonna be pulling off a couple different entries this week as well too, with a beautiful run, almost mimicking what we've seen in Formula Drift before. He's almost gonna mount that tire before the transition. And uh, don't be afraid to send vertical clips, right? I like to kind of put the three in there. This one, Mercy Alex. This one was really cool. And I respected this because this was a recreation of Tokyo Drift. If you guys don't know, right? That's uh, DK in front of him here. We got Sean behind him with his damn Mustang holding down some beautiful tandem mountain section. Now, the one thing that I really would have liked to see on this clip, because it was a big one, they did this for, I think, like four minutes or so, just non-stop. I like the traffic. They were dodging a couple, but they never changed positions on the track. I would have liked to see them, you know, take the lead, go into the chase, and try to overtake some of these corners. Maybe I'm getting too picky on these, but it would have been cool to see that. That's all I'm saying. Lead driver had a great line, and I think if this was me, I wouldn't be transitioning either, right? I'd be staying exactly where I am, and just to show you, it just kept going and going, right? <laughs> Definitely respectable clip holding down there for podium finish number two this week we have sakura minimoto with a beautiful line and this is exactly what i was talking about he will be going for the team burst overtake on one of these and this is uh something that i like to see right aggressive driving especially when you have some of those openings and obviously you have to be doing it with drivers that you can trust that are not going to just ram you afterwards and i like this clip because he did overtake him right here the driver that did get overtaken, he's right there with them, not letting them get away. He is instantly on the door, door to door transitions. I like this clip a lot, just the whole style of it. I don't know what it was, if it's the, you know, the records and the differential settings on there, just has that old school feel to the clip, right? And at the end of it, there's like a four car train. It's a beautiful clip, five car, sorry, right? Huge thank you for sending it in. Number one this week though, this is, this is impressive. This is from Impulsive. 1325 and I had to speed this up for a little bit. This is almost AI like. This man is going to drift the entire Nuremberg Ring Nordschleife in one single swing. He is not going to check up one time. He is not going to lose his points at all for the entire lap. Now usually when you lap this it's about what seven minutes or so on a good lap. I think the final lap time for this clip was about nine and a half minutes which is truly impressive drifting the entire thing. And the point rack up, I had to record this entire clip because I had to see how long it was gonna go. And it went, and it went, and it went, and it continued to go. And I had to just fast forward just to show you guys how impressive of a drive this is until he gets in a straightaway and he's just modging it, doing six gear, absolutely peeling out. I wanna know what setup this man is running. I wanna drive this car out here. This is a nice run. Really do appreciate sending this in. Shows the discipline, and it really does show what's possible on GT7 for drifting. 375,000 points, man. Ridiculous numbers out here, and he's going to hold down number one this week. Right? I feel like he earned that this week. Let me know your thoughts down below. Finishing it off this week with a little edit from Big Frick. BDB out here, man. Huge thank you to everybody that did submit your clips. Really do appreciate everybody's, uh, you know, activity in the entire series. Huge thank you to BenQ and Mobius Gaming for their involvement as well, too, and their support, uh, you know, hooking you guys up with a beautiful monitor out here. I've been using BenQ for all my stuff. If you guys want to purchase anything from them, links are found down below. Huge thanks for watching for today. Top 10 drifts of the week. We're done. Episode 3 out here. 2024. Cut, right? Cut, right? Huge thanks for watching. I'll see you guys back here tomorrow. I'm out. Peace.